Today we're going to be learning how to uh, set up an OBS. So go and open up your browser, search up OBS Studio, and you should be able to get to its download page. Go ahead and just download its installer. And when it's done installing, go ahead and open up the file. It might ask you for administrator access, go ahead and press yes, and then go through the setup process. All right, go ahead and launch OBS Studio when you're finished installing. If this is your first time starting out, it might ask for an auto configuration wizard. Go ahead and allow it. And say optimize just for recording. Keep the default settings. And then it'll give you an overview. All right, next up, we're gonna add a source. This is what actually like displays stuff. So you're gonna add a display capture. And you'll notice that in the preview and when I press OK that nothing shows up. Everything is still black. So we're going to go into the graphic settings in the window settings. And then you're going to choose classic app and browse. You're going to look for uh, the OBS file. So lo optimize local disk, program files, OBS studio, bin, 64-bit, and an OBS 64. Go and press options. There's going to be power saving and high performance, especially if you're on your laptop. Uh, for me, power saving worked for me. Um, if you're on a desktop, you don't have to care about it. So go ahead and just restart OBS. And there you go, something will show up. Now, um, in general for OBS, you can also click on the source and use the red things to resize. And you can also right click and transform and press fit to screen if you want to expand it back or if you screw something up. Go ahead and go click plus again and press video capture device. We're going to be capturing our webcam. Now in this case, the preview window is gray again. Uh, in this case, it was because my antivirus decided to block my webcam. But after you press OK, the antivirus should prompt you and you'll be able to enable your webcam. I can drag it into the corner and I can resize it to however I want. So if I can make it big, make it small. Okay, this is the size I want and I'm good. We're going to the settings now, go to output and make sure that it's in the right path and your recording format is set to MP4, not MKV. MP4 allows you to directly edit and upload. It's also wise to go in and set up some hotkeys. Uh, in this case, I'm only going to set start recording and stop recording. Press apply and then OK. All right. In this case, uh, you can also capture the window because you can see you can still see the taskbar. So go and select window capture and in the drop down, you can select which window you want to specifically record. This can also work for Eclipse or some sort of CAD program. And I can go delete the old one. And you might notice I actually accidentally deleted my camera, but you can just go through the same step again. Drag it to the corner, resize. So this is something that you might have to do. And now if you see, you might want to go full screen on your application and there it fills up the whole frame. Also, it's good to note that you want to make sure that your video capture device is on top of your window capture device or it will become hidden. Right, just press start recording to start recording. There's a pause button as well. If you need to pause in between, you can set a hockey to that as well. You can see, oh, I'm gonna just scroll through back and forth. I'll go back and press stop recording. And then go to the place where I told it to save my file. And if I open it up, you can see that it's the video that I, re uh, that I just recorded. My webcam is in the bottom right and my browser is in the middle. All right. And there's also this middle screen, which is called the audio mixer. It's where, uh, where audio is recorded. Mic slash aux is, is usually the microphone that's connected to your computer. You can drag the sliders back and forth if your microphone is too loud. And desktop audio is also your Windows system sounds, and you can adjust that as well. If your microphone isn't the right microphone, you can also go into sound settings and then choose the right microphone. You should also go to the video tab and make sure that your output resolution is 1080p. And there you go. That's it. You're ready to record.